The Colombo Additional Magistrate has issued an order to release 13 tamed elephants taken into the custody by the Criminal Investigations Department to their original owners. These elephants were detained and placed under the care of the Department of National Zoological Gardens as evidence material following cases filed in court on investigations carried out in the past. The court order was made after submissions were made based on the gazette issued by the Minister of Wildlife and the advice of the Attorney General. During the period of the Government of Good Governance, several tamed elephants held illegally were located. The Department of Wildlife, the Sri Lanka Police as well as the Criminal Investigations Department carried out investigations into these events and took measures to file cases in court. The elephants were placed at the Pinnavala Elephant Orphanage and the Elephant Transit Home in Udavalave, which are under the Department of National Zoological Gardens. Present in facts to the court recently, the OIC of the Number 1 Investigations Unit of the CID requested the release of 13 elephants. The request was made as per the advice of the Attorney General and the Gazette issued by the Minister of Wildlife dated 19th of August. Facts were presented to the courts claiming that the said Gazette notes that measures have been taken to streamline the registration of tamed elephants and the registration is to be completed within three months. Pursuant to the submissions made by the Criminal Investigations Department, Colombo Additional Magistrate S. Prabhakaran issued an order to release 13 elephants taken into custody by the CID to their original owners. As per the court order, three elephants that were held at the Elephant Transit Home in Udavalave for six years were released to their owners on Tuesday the 7th and Wednesday the 8th. In addition, four elephants held at the Pinnavala Elephant Orphanage since 2015 were also released on Tuesday, while one tamed elephant was released on Wednesday. There were extensive investigations that were carried out regarding these animals. There were audits on how these happened. Without considering any of these, it is illegal to release these animals by using a gazette that has retrospective effect. We condemn this. We ask that this process of releasing these animals be stopped. What should have been done if there was a defect in the case was to conclude the hearings of the case or if the case was dismissed on preliminary objections, they should have acted according to the order issued by the court. But these steps taken to withdraw the case, we see them as an interference in the proceedings of the court. We believe that all these accused who have been arrested have the blood of these elephant calves of their mothers on their hands. These include members of both the governing and the opposition parties. We are amazed by the fact that the Attorney General had proposed for these animals to be handed over back to these accused.